Hello, shiny Pitwars hopefuls. Today, I want to talk about a potentially controversial topic. When mentors go to war for a mentee. I think that's why Pitch Wars is called Pitch Wars, but I'm not entirely sure, so someone should probably ask Brenda. The reason I want to talk about this today um, is because it's something that's not often spoken about. And uh, full disclosure, this happened to me last year. Um, I'm not bringing this up to brag at all. In fact, I don't talk about this to anybody. Um, I've never said it publicly. The reason I want to talk about it now is because it can be a very difficult situation to find yourself in. And I know that when I was in it, I didn't really know who to talk to and who to get advice from. So I just want to give you guys a heads up of what it can be like and what it means and my views on the best way to try and deal with it. I've spoken to, since then, a couple of other mentees that it happened to, but literally a handful. I don't even know the total amount of people who had wars fought for their manuscript. So, how do the wars happen? Basically, the day before the pitch wars mentees are announced, so nobody knows if they've been chosen to get in or not, um, a lucky, super lucky, super honoured mentee is going to get an email from Brenda saying that they are involved in a war and that there are two more, I don't even know if there can be more than two, but um, two teams or two mentors that are fighting over them. Um, and that email is followed by emails from the actual mentors. And in their email, they outline what is very similar to an editorial letter. Um, they talk about their team potentially why you should choose them but more importantly they talk about their vision for your book this is super super important they will tell you the changes they envision making um, why they love your ms and that sort of thing then you are encouraged to respond with questions um, to maybe find some clarification about certain points that they might have brought up and go back and forth with them uh, you don't have much time though, I think it's like 24 hours and I was in another country with a huge time lag so everyone was asleep so it was very stressful. Um, and then you have to choose, you let Brenda know and then you're not allowed to say anything to anybody and you are just announced as a, a normal mentee the next day when they announce the mentor picks. So um, it should be a time of great celebration because you are honored that more than one person wants to work on your book. Everyone is so excited that they were prepared because often in pitch wars, mentors might want to work on an MS, more than one mentor, but because they don't want to go to war and they have other MSs that they also want to work on, they sort of sort things out behind the scenes. So these mentors love your book so much that they're willing to battle for it, which is huge. And you should be just celebrating. It should be great. But the reality is you probably won't be. You probably will just be dying of stress like I was. Um, the other reason I want to bring this up is, once again, like everything else in Pitch Wars, this is a tiny microcosm, an exact replica of the publishing industry. This is what happens when you have multiple agent offers of representation, which is also something that I experienced. And it's very similarly a time when other querying authors, you might not feel as comfortable talking about this, talking about the difficulty of making a decision with other querying authors, because it might sound to others that you are bragging or that you should just shut up and, you know, just make a choice and, and, you know, pretend like it's not stressful at all. In fact, it is very stressful. Any author that I've spoken to who has had multiple agent offers of representation has said the same thing, that it was the work worst week of my entire life. So here are some hints and tips of how I handled it. Your mileage may vary. Um, you've got to make the right decisions for you. And this is just my personal opinion. So just like when choosing an agent, the first and most important choice should be according to the mentor or the agent's vision for the book. That is to say, do they get the book? In what they're, what they're saying about what they loved, what they would like to change, the edits that they foresee, do you feel like their vision is the same as yours? Now, their vision being aligned to yours doesn't mean that they say, it's perfect, I don't want to make any changes at all. That That's not a thing. Like, I mean, it could be a thing, and you might be like, yes, I'm on board with that, I'm going to go with them. However, um, as long as you're open to criticism and edits, which every potential mentee in pitch wars should be, because almost everybody is going to have edits, 
uh, it's more a question of the changes that they want to make. And it's not about how big or how small those changes are, but the changes that they want to make and the reason that they give behind the changes. Do you read that and say, you know what, might be a little tough to hear that you want to cut this major character, but actually I I'm listening to your reasons and I think you're right. This is what happened to me. The mentors that I went with wanted to cut a major character and rewrite the whole middle of the book, essentially. And when I read their reasoning and their vision, I knew that they were right, even though I loved the character so much and his interactions with everyone were amazing. I knew that they were right. Um, the, other, the, the other mentors in the war had a very amazing vision for my book and loved my book so much and I loved them. It was such a difficult choice. It came down to, for me, as far as the vision of the books go, it really came down to the fact that one, one mentor, I just slightly agreed this much more with their ideas of changes. And in fact, the visions that they both had for the book, the changes they wanted to make, were so completely different that it was, in a way, perhaps an easier choice for me. I was able to say, okay, this clicks a little bit more than that. Um, so it's the same with agents. If the most wonderful agent in the world wanted to offer you representation and then said, you know, I want to completely remove your main character and change him from like the super, super sweet, sympathetic guy and make him like a bad boy. And you're like, that's really not my book at all. You know, doesn't matter how great the agent is. If their vision of for your book is completely off, they might not be the right choice for you. But um, sometimes the visions will be very alike and it won't be enough for you to be able to choose. So there's a couple of other things that you might want to take into consideration. Uh, is, are the mentors potentially, um, potentially going to be available to be your future CPs? As in, are they looking for a long-term relationship? Sometimes that you can't really tell that because they don't say anything either way, but have they done pitch wars before? Are they still in touch with their past mentees? There are some that you can see openly on Twitter. They are, and they have long-term relationships. There are others that actually put in their wish lists that they're looking for a long-term relationship. This might be something that you are quite interested in. You don't just want them to critique one book and then not really have any more interactions after that. Um, another decision might be, uh, one side of the mentors, are they editors versus the other ones are authors? There are pros to both sides of that story. The authors have been where you've been, they've edited with editors, they're huge readers, um, they might have amazing agents, so they've also had to edit with their agents. Um, and then on the other hand, you have editors who might also be published authors. So this all gets super complicated. It's very difficult to decide. But um, the editors bring so much to the table in terms of this is what they do professionally. This whole critiquing your book in Pitch Wars, they are paid to do that. They have so much experience about that. It could be that they're an editor and not a published author. It could be that they're an editor who is um, not yet a published author, but they write. So that could be things that you might want to weigh up. Um, another thing that can happen is it could be, you could have a team on one side versus a sole person on the other side. Um, that was another thing that just weighed slightly in one, in one direction for me was that I had two opinions here. It was like having, well, it was two mentors on the one side and one mentor on the other side, because you're getting two opinions on your book, which is that way you always know not that you should ever I'm not saying there's no reason to think that like a single mentor is going to give you an opinion which is you know biased or not right it's not that it's just that you're getting two and two for the price of one is amazing you know um something else you might take into consideration is literal enthusiasm and fangirling I know a mentee who was in war and she had I think a team who had amazing track record in their careers, in their publishing careers, agent-wise, all of those things. And then there was someone else on the side here who was still very good. But this person was so enthusiastic about their book, so excited, had so much passion for it. And why am I bringing this up? Because this is often the reason that I've heard that writers actually choose an agent. They might choose an agent that is newer, um, that doesn't have as much clout because they have been in the industry for a shorter amount of time or hasn't haven't sold as many books because they're younger in the industry or whatever um, because this agent is so fiercely passionate about their book and Lee Bardugo who wrote Six of Crows said uh, that when she first got her agent Joanna Volpe 
she had seen Joanna or read, I think she'd seen Joanna in a video or something like that online, geek out about Lord of the Rings. And so she knew that Joanna would pitch her book with a fan's passion. And this can be a huge factor when it comes to making a decision. Although, by the same token, you want to keep into consideration the different people have got completely different characters. You might get a mentor or an agent, but a mentor who's more, um, not shy, but less uh, out, outgoing is the wrong word, who's less, um, you know, like, yay, yay, rah, 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 all the excites, all the excites, like verbally, and yet who's st who might be quieter and yet who still has massive passion for your book. So it is something that you want to think about people's personality weigh it into the, the mix and say it might not be that this mentor or this agent is more excited it might just be that that this mentor and this agent is their personality is slightly different you know but passion is definitely something that you want to weigh into the mix um i think when i had my multiple agent offers the two agents that the decision finally came down to two agents and both of those agents one of whom is slightly more reserved than the other they were both fangirling hard about my book and it was so difficult to decide. But it's interesting to me that out of all of the offers I received and were considering those two, the one that, that was so excited and fangirled the hardest about my book were the ones it came down to when there were perhaps other agents who had a longer history, great track record, whatever. Um, so these are all the different things that you might think have to think about. If you are lucky enough to have people go to war for you, you are incredibly honored. You can feel super, super stoked about it. But by the same token, it is normal to feel completely overwhelmed and really stressed and feel almost like the excitement that you should be feeling because you got in. You can't, you're just numb to it because you're just so worried about making the wrong decision. Uh, which is something that people do not talk about, especially when it comes to not pitch wars, but especially when it comes to receiving multiple offers from agents. But you will get through it. And all of the mentors are amazing. So no matter what choice you make, it won't be the wrong choice. Because mentors wouldn't be taking part in pitch wars if they weren't just ridiculously over-enthusiastic about making your book the best it can be to potentially get you in the nose, under the noses of all of the agents. So guys, may the odds be ever in your favor. Good luck.